very good morning to all of you and welcome to sunrise here in the Masai Mara where of course we are about an hour ahead not about we are exactly an hour ahead so the sun has had an hour's head start on South Africa my name is Jamie this morning Viam is on camera with me and this is the first internet show that I have done in a very long time it feels like forever it's probably only been a couple of weeks but it feels like forever and I don't think the TV shows really count so we are sitting at the base of the Ololo escarpment and the herds have well and truly arrived. This is nothing. Earlier on, because Vim and I went out at about four this morning, earlier on we drove through how many wildebeest would you say, Vim? A couple of thousand? 22,000, 22, exactly. Mm -hmm. Tw what about the five that were in the back? 22,000 and five. Oh, you counted them. Okay, well, Vim's on it. Vim, of course, having the advantage of the thermal. And we experienced an interesting morning attempting to try and find out what was panicking the wildebeest herd. It's interesting trying to find out in the dark when you've got thermal and a spotlight and you, there's wildebeest running everywhere to try and see if you can spot a lion. It's kind of like finding a needle in a haystack, stack, just different. But the Angamas are thrilled. The herds have arrived on their doorstep as well. So our lions are fat, flat and happy somewhere in a river system where we can't get to them, unfortunately. But that's okay. I've got an eclectic collection of clothing on because my jacket's in the wash. I'm trialing my new hat. And somebody back at camp used my scarf, my good game drive scarf, my favorite scarf. They used it as a diesel rag yesterday. Uh, slightly devastated, slightly injured feelings. I'm not quite sure who managed to confuse my scarf. It wasn't that tatty. Anyway, don't forget to send through your questions on hashtag Safari Live on Twitter. I'm going to take you to see the rest of the wildebeest. Let us, off we go. Let's go to the lions that Brent saw from the balloon. He's told me where they are. And we'll go look at some more wildebeest. There are lots of them around, funnily enough. Stay on. I'm going to go off in search of more signs of the migration, not that they're hard to find here. And while we do that, Byron has got an animal that definitely doesn't enjoy the arrival of the wildebeest. 